divorce, a legal battle, a friend betrays you, eventually that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out with a chip on your shoulder blaming God or you can come out stronger with a greater confidence in God. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. Hey, 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 family. Happy Wednesday. Come here. Yeah, today is Daddy's birthday. Let me clean my face up. I don't really want to touch my face because I'm outside. But anyway, hey family. So it is Wednesday. It is my husband's 44th birthday. He will be 44 today. And so today we are going to go visit him and release some balloons and, you know, create new traditions and um, ways to remember him and honor him. So we are going to, I'm waiting for my son to get here from New York. So he is on his way. And so hopefully he'll be here within the hour and then we will head on over to the cemetery and Jenny wants to sing to her dad. You have your balloons? So now you're gonna let them go in a, in a minute, okay? All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. You say happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. <laughs> you ready, Cynthia? Let's let them go. <laughs> very thing that was meant to destroy her God used it to push her into a new level of her destiny <laughs> friends God knows how to take your mess and turn it into your message take what was meant for harm and use it to your advantage and there are times like with my mom God will allow us to go through a season of difficulty so he can birth something new on the inside. I saw a report on the news about this lady. She was a larger woman and She'd always been perfectly healthy, but she started feeling a little nauseated. Couldn't figure out what was wrong. Over the next few months, her back started hurting, her feet swelling, couldn't sleep at night. She went to the doctor early on. They thought it was some kind of virus that would soon pass. But month after month, different symptoms popped up. She was uncomfortable, swollen, gaining weight. She didn't like it. One day she started feeling incredible pains in her stomach area. She tried to endure it, thinking that it would pass, but kept getting worse and worse. Finally, she couldn't take it any longer. In excruciating pain, she had her husband rush her to the emergency room. The doctor examined her, said, I know exactly what's wrong. 90 minutes later, he handed her her new baby boy. She was pregnant and didn't know it. All those symptoms she was feeling, the pain, discomfort, nausea, there was a purpose for it. A change was taking place. She was about to give birth. Many times like her, we're pregnant and we don't know it. All we can feel is the pain. God, I'm uncomfortable. 
The pain is a sign you're about to give birth. You'll give birth to new strength, new talent, new ministry, new charity, new friendships, a new level. The pain is for a purpose. A change is taking place.